But last October, storms damaged the roof and put the whole house under threat once more. We headed for the roof via the attic. Is it safe enough up yeah, Oh, yes, perfectly safe. No dry rot up here. Wow, look at all the stuff. Did you find it here or did you bring it with you? Oh, no, it's, it's, we, we've collected things for years and years and years, and we haven't got enough room in the house. <laughs> you haven't got enough room? No, no. I have to be careful on, well, with heads on beams and things. It's come up. Okay. Oh. I have to be careful up at the top. It's, it's quite high up. Uh. All right. Yeah, you're getting rather abuse from that thing. I know, it's wonderful. It's quite high. The view's even better now because after the storm, so many trees have come down. <laughs> the storm crumpled three large sections of lead sheeting. George Biddlecombe, who's a building craftsman, was concerned that unless they were replaced quickly, the rooms underneath would be wrecked again. And what kind of weight would they be? Approximately 200 weight each. Really? And our biggest problem is getting them up here, the new pieces up here, because we cannot use this again. Sheets of lead are far too heavy to carry by hand, so the Army agreed to help David with a Lynx helicopter from 656 Squadron Army Air Corps at Netheravon. But the helicopter brought its own worries because of the violent downdraft created by its rotors. George rigged a safety line on the instructions of the officer in charge, Lieutenant Adam Ferguson. So, Sergeant Benning, if you uh, make sure that your harness is attached, you've got a harness with you? I have brought an harness, yeah, and it will we'll be attached. Clip it onto the rope between the two chimney stacks, okay. and that will be fine. And, Karen, I think you'll be safe, so you come with us in the aircraft. I think that sounds like a very good idea. <laughs> sounds very fun. Brilliant. Shall we go? OK. And so began Operation Lead Lift. were heavy enough to knock down a chimney or go straight through the roof if dropped. So while Lux bombardier Gary Fraser guided the pilot from above, Sergeant Sean Banyan did the same from below. Slow down, slow down. Okay, hold it there. If the wind changed direction unexpectedly, Hammerwood could easily lose a chimney. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. of the three rolls had been delivered and within half an hour all the lead was in position on the roof. Operation Lead Lift had gone without a hitch. International rescue. <laughs> yeah, isn't that wonderful house? Marvellous. Brilliant. It's got so much work Beautiful. ahead of yeah. Let's hope none of the gales have damaged the house this week. No, I think it's okay, it's fine. It's all right. That's good. <laughs> it's a lovely, brilliant picture. So then on the top you see it just say radio towers. 30 years on the top of the moon. 